Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to design a bolt antenna by using the thread feature in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you will enjoy this video and it will so much helpful to you and you can learn lots of things from this video. So let's see how to do it in SOLIDWORKS. Okay, at first, let's make the bolt. So choose front plane, make it normal and sketch. From here, choose polygon draw a polygon here select this line make it vertical and now choose a smart dimension and keep the diameter 10 millimeter okay now from feature select extruded boss and base here choose mid plane condition 5 millimeter ok now select this face sketch draw a circle here and define the circle 6 millimeter dia ok now again extrude it extrude it up to 20 millimeter You can take any length, it's not a big deal, it's up to you. So choose this face, a sketch, draw another circle here up to this point because we want to chamfer this angle. So from feature, choose extruded cut and choose cliff side to cut from here. 45 degree angle ok see the angle is chamfered here uh, maybe the distance is smaller so go there and keep it 25 millimeter ok now it's perfect now mirror the chamfer so select this go to mirror mirror about front plane ok see now choose material from here polished steel body ok now see it's look better now we want to create thread here so from whole wizard choose thread see here thread location so select this is where the thread will be start so let's see in condition from here we can use blind here we can take 20 millimeter 30 millimeter 40 millimeter whatever we want but here we want up to selection select this face now see it's going up to this face and start from this edge point so now go for a specification type choose here metric tape is okay size also m6 by 1 it's also perfect now we want we want to extrude it so choose here extrude thread now ok ok now our thread is created over this face actually extrude over it now see the end point is looking little bit odd so we want to make it better so again go to thread edit feature from here select offset and choose here 5 millimeter it's going this direction so reverse it a millimeter is perfect okay 
now we need to cut the extended thread so select this face go for a sketch now we want to create two circle because we want to cut the extent thread here so choose dimension and select the outer circle and put here to, uh, 10 millimeter and make it 6 millimeter okay choose smart dimension and keep it 10 millimeter okay now from feature choose extruded cut reverse direction okay now see it looks better so this is the bolt so save it <coughs> create here a folder okay save it as bolt now let's make the knot so from here delete them okay now see here one circle is still there so select this circle and choose extruded cut from here through all okay now we want to create a chamfer angle chamfer here so again select this face go to his case and draw a circle here up to 10 millimeter see it's automatically take 10 millimeter okay now from feature choose extruded cut again flip side to cut here 45 degree okay now again mirror this extruded cut so select it and choose mirror mirror face and plane here choose front plane ok now we want to create thread inside this face so from here choose thread thread location select this S as a start point and choose blind 10 millimeter here also choose metric tap because <coughs> we already take uh, metric tap so we need to take metric tap here also otherwise it will create problem size same 6 by 1 here choose here choose uh, cut set because on the bolt we take extruded set so we need to cut here okay again see it's uh, not finished up to this edge point so it's looking odd again edit feature from here choose offset 3 millimeter reverse direction okay now see it's looking good and it's perfect so from here save as and save it as not okay so our bolt and not design has been finished so now we are going to assemble them so let's see how to assemble them okay so close it and from here choose assembly okay so this is the assembly window in SOLIDWORKS so at first browse the parts okay 
now drag them here okay now let's make some relation between nut and bolt so from here choose made made selection select this circular edge and this circular edge make them concentric okay now see it's moving along the bolt so keep it here now choose another relation so from here advanced mid here select distance at first select this face and this face because we want to create the relation between these two faces so from here choose minimum distance will be 0 millimeter and maximum distance will be we keep the length 25 so keep here 26 millimeter okay now see this is the maximum and this is the minimum okay now we want to match the set because we want to create the screw relation mechanical relation between this nut and this bolt so select this and make it normal okay from here choose hidden lines to show okay so from here choose this again now create relation so go for mate choose mechanical mates from here select a screw and from here select the lower set and upper set okay now see here they automatically take revolutions per millimeter distance and revolution one so no need to disturb it okay now see it's rotating okay so this is the nut and bolt assembly select here okay now save the assembly rebuild and save the document assembly okay now go for animation from here motion study here select animation because it is basic basic motion choose motion study properties key fair 50 ok now choose motor and select any circular face reverse direction and keep here 50 rpm per set rpm revolution per minute ok now drag it up to 12 second now go for calculation now see the 
nut is rotating according to the board so drag it down and now play so friends if you think that this video is useful to you and you can learn something from this video so friends please subscribe my channel to get more videos about solidworks projects and design that you can learn lots of things from the, these videos so friends thank you for watching thank you